What was it like bringing a brand new team to the F1 grid? You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, that's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today, especially, I have to say, from Aidan Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. Okay, Aidan, nice job so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. Copy that. one thing then it's another did you not see what happened out there today Aiden I agree with you 100% we are doing everything we can I know the car is not perfect but Andreo it's every race do you know how I look losing easy points like this knock knock <laughs> sounds like there's a right show going on in here what am I missing not now Devon Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car again I thought that was all in hand I had no problems today, smooth. You know what they say, a shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data anytime you want. I've told you that, it might help. And I've told you before. 
It's not a setup issue. The problem is Jackson. That was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But uh, I guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. Hey boss, got a couple of minutes? Andreo, just going over those uh, last minute strategy changes you sent over. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make it clear, whatever happens out there today, I get pit priority, yeah? <laughs> well, we'll see how the race develops. If you need priority, you'll get it. But I can't go into the race with that on the table. Look, 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 look. we all know Jackson's not pulling his way. Now, if you want the points, I need to make sure he's not going to get in my way. Do you get me? Devon, 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 we've talked about this. Give Aiden some space. It's not about you getting in the way of each other. It's about everyone pulling together, racing as a team. Of course, of course, yeah. So, uh, pit priority, yeah? <laughs> All right, ciao. Into turn two we go now. Butler comes out of the pit lane. Jackson is right there with him. This is dicey, Ant. Neither one of these two wants to give way. This would have been a lot cleaner if Jackson had just let him go. He's just not giving him an inch. They continue onwards, still wheel to wheel, almost touching there as well, as we head down the straight towards the next chicane. Nothing to separate either car, and through the chicane we go. And now Jackson sends them both off the track, and Butler over a curb. That looked nasty. And I do believe that one of their cars is damaged here, Crofty. I think it's Butler. Damage, Ant, but also they've lost places too. Unbelievable and totally unnecessary as well. Well, one damaged car, places now to make up. What a complete mess that was. What was that? Where did he even think he was going to go? OK, calm yourself down. We'll look at it in the debrief later. But right now, I want you to go and get those places back. Come on, let's go.
Caution! Caution! Okay, clear. Okay, we've got four laps of fuel remaining. Hey there, can you uh, raise that lamp about six inches, right? Excellent. A butler should always look sharp. <laughs> so. At what point in the 22 season was it clear to you that the team was struggling? Oh, well, right after the Hungarian GP. I may only be the money but even to me, it was obvious. The whole thing was a sham. Yet again, Connor Sports Jackson and Butler battling it out on track. It seems as if they- Hang on, two seconds, Matt. Okay, Devon, Aiden's lapping faster than you. I need you to let him pass, please. Devon, do you copy? Listen to me, I need you to let Aiden pass now. Butler just completely blanking the order there. Seems like he can even acknowledge it. Too true, but as you can see, no way through for Jackson. No way at all. This Connor Sport rivalry is getting heated on the track here in Hungary. OK, so the gap to the car behind is 2.0 seconds. Doing? Oh, come on, this is a joke! just be a single prize for victory, but there are so many stories up and down the grid as our drivers look to make a name for themselves. It's the first year for Vegas on the Formula One calendar and the first year in F1 world as well. Elvis might have left the building, but who will come through the door and make themselves a hero tonight?
Anthony Davidson is a big name in the world of Formula One. You've made a name for yourself, Ant, but what advice have you got for the drivers out there hoping to make a name for themselves? It really depends which kind of character you are, Crofty. I think uh, my advice would be to, to anyone starting a season is that, yes, you want to perform well every single time you're in the car, but that's, that's likely, unlikely to happen. It's impossible. You're asking for the impossible in that situation, and there will be downward spiral moments but it's how you pick yourself back up for those moments that's the important part and learning where you're vulnerable that's a key part to your natural progression over a course of a season Focus now for the rest of the race. Welcome along to Las Vegas, and Formula One might be in the middle of the Nevada desert, but who'd have thought it? It's raining out there. Now, how will that affect the drivers as they race along the strip?